My name is Erica Rao. I'm a Pro Am Women Snowcross racer. Off the start, all the throttles are pinned and you're all going for the same thing. For Erica Rao, it's hard to imagine life without snowmobile racing. It's a huge adrenaline rush, especially in the air when you're flying. On this day, she's competing in Lake Geneva in a women's pro-am event. It was at this very same event a year ago that Erica almost lost her snowmobile career and her life. I was first off the start and first up the Black Diamond Ski Hill and then I clipped the peak of the landing and it sent my sled into a front flip. Erica remembers very little after that. She was taken to a local hospital. The emergency room doctor here at the local hospital came back and took me outside and said that she's got some internal bleeding going on and going to need open heart surgery. Um, naturally, I went into a panic. Erica was sent to UW Hospital in Madison, a level one trauma center. Because of poor weather, med flight wasn't available, so she had to take an ambulance from Lake Geneva to Madison. She was heading to the emergency room with a fractured neck and a severely damaged aorta, an aorta that could rupture at any time. Dr. Charles Aker, a vascular surgeon, was one of the first doctors to see her. Her aorta was just being held together by the, what we call the adventitia. It's a very thin uh, layer, the last layer of the aorta. Uh, and what happens is it gets stretched. And of course, 90% of the people never make it to the hospital. Originally, I thought when they explained open heart surgery that they were going to have to open my daughter's chest up. Um, we met with the surgeon. He said, I'm going to try and go in and uh, do a different procedure. And he goes, who knows what will ultimately have to happen, but I'll do what I have to do. I said, she's in your hands, you know. Dr. Aker was able to avoid open heart surgery and repair Erica's damaged aorta using a minimally invasive surgical procedure. He makes a small incision in the groin and puts into position large stents over the damaged area of the aorta. It's all done with catheters and guide wires and threading this device up and putting it in the right place and then deploying it. Once the device is in the correct position and deployed, the result is a new aortic wall. What we think happens is you, you bridge the injury, but the aorta then heals around the endo stent mm -hmm. and stays pretty firm. So we think it's going to last a long time. The surgery was a success, and just hours after the procedure, Erica was awake and alert. It was very comforting for him to tell us, one, that my daughter was doing fine and going to heal up in no time and be normal. Once she woke up and she had her neck brace on and, you know, she had this aortic injury, she said, well, can I go back and finish competing? And I'm going, we need a little re-education here. <laughs> Erica couldn't get on a snowmobile the next day, but she made returning to snowmobile racing the following season her goal. I worked with my trainer three days a week. I trained for a marathon. I ran a marathon in October. I was in the best physical condition I had ever been in, so I knew I was ready for the season. It was never a question of whether I wanted to still or not. It was just a matter of if I could or not. It gets in your blood and it's addicting.